This is a homemade Class A audio amplifier based on the Death of Zen schematic. Um, on the front we've got obviously volume control, uh, we've got an input here which is good for iPods or whatever you want to just shove in the front. Uh, input selector switch, one is obviously the front, two and three are on the rear. And uh, power switch. Uh, the output transistors are mounted on the sides. And if we can see around the rear, uh, we've got 240 volt AC mains input, mains fuse, left channel, uh, inputs two and three are on the rear, and the right channel. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look inside. This is the inside of the amplifier, and uh, not a lot has changed from the uh, published uh, schematic. Uh, there is a few bits. Um, starting down here, I've got this is a BC179C, um, which is exactly the same as a BC559, I think, except this is a, a metal can version. Um, down here we've got, this is the uh, pot for setting the idle current. This was originally 100k, but I changed it to a 50k because um, it was really fiddly to set the idle current. And this uh, pot actually uh, charges up this capacitor as well, so as you adjust it, um, you have to wait for this to catch up. So it's quite fiddly to set the, the idle current, but once it is set, it seems to be quite stable. I've got two Zeners here, these are two 12 volt Zeners. Um, fed with a 1k ohm resistor to give me 24 volts for this part of the circuit and the setting of the idle current or the bias. Um, uh, apart from that, drive boards are pretty much similar to the schematic. Uh, here's the two uh, BD139s which drive the 2N3055s and uh, um, on the uh, power supply side we've got a, this bit over the top, this transformer, this is a 22 volt 300 VA transformer and uh, this top cap here just came from a Cambridge Audio A4 because it looked a bit better than the standard one that come with this transformer so put that on there. Uh, that goes through to bridge rectifier which then comes out um, across these two 10,000 microfarad uh, 50 volt capacitors and then from there it goes through uh, 10 millihenry 5 amp DC filter choke to take any ripple out and then back across another two 10,000 microfarad 50 volt uh, capacitors and there's our 30 volts output there which then goes up and across this uh, 4 amp uh, quick blow fuse and then from there it's uh, there's our supply um, that then goes across these, I've got one for each channel, which is a 0 0.22 ohm resistor. It just means it's easy then for me to probe across this resistor and check the idle current. So when I'm getting 0 0.22 volts, I know I've got one amp idle current. Um, that's all that's for. There's another 0 0.22 ohm resistor down there. And that is to that is in line with the Q3 emitter. Um, just to help thermal stabilisation and without that um, it was quite unstable as the heatsinks warmed up it really started drawing more current but with that in line um, I've even tried putting a woolly hat over the heatsinks and the heatsinks can then get really hot but uh, idle current doesn't move much so uh, this is uh, really needed um, on the it was published as a 0 0.1 uh, sorry yeah 0 0.1 ohm I used a 0 0.22 ohm because I had some laying around and uh, that seems to work really well. On the output here we've got uh, these are the DC blocking capacitors on the output 4700 microfarads 35 volts. Um, I've put a 10 microfarad polypropylene capacitor in parallel with that just to help keep the impedance low at the top end of the frequency range. Um, of course the two phono sockets there and uh, that's about it really for the uh, the inside of the amplifier. Now this is uh, just some info on how I set up my Death of Zen amplifier. Um, There's a little table I made up of different uh, output uh, wattage into 8 ohms. All these are RMS. So power output into 8 ohms at RMS. 
um, for different idle currents. And uh, as you can see, half an amp idle current at 30, this is all 30 volt power supply as well, half an amp idle current, you're going to get 3.5 watts out into 8 ohms. Um, and uh goes right the way up to 2.8 amp, uh, 2.5 amp here, uh, 14 watt into 8 ohms. And uh, the voltage is just the voltage <coughs> uh, across the 8 ohm load in RMS uh, to calculate the wattage in RMS. Um, I've set mine to 1 amp, so uh, set mine to 1 amp um, idle current, which gives me about 8.43 watts ish uh, into 8 ohms. And uh, as my speakers are 4 ohm speakers, it's Probably a little bit more. I haven't tested that, but it sounds plenty loud enough anyway. Um, so that was the little uh, test sheet. I thought that was quite interesting. Um, I haven't got massive heat sinks here, so um, I'm not going to uh, run it too too hot. Uh, so it's currently at 44 degrees, 45 degrees. And ambient today is about 22 degrees. Um, so uh, yeah, it's running okay. One more quick thing to note is the uh, I've got mine set to one amp idle current once it's stabilised. But when you turn it on from cold, it draws about half an amp, creeps up to one amp, and uh, stabilises there. And uh, you know, it doesn't take long. Um, but originally, I was going to use these. Um, Transistor. This is what I bought for the amp, two SC five two double O's, and uh, they were very unstable. I had them with an even bigger heatsink originally, and um, you know they, they were very thermally unstable compared to the two N three O five five. So uh, it was the two N three O five five that I used in the end, um, which is no problem because I've got quite a few of those. And uh, this just shows the clipping. As you can see, it clips. Oh, hang on. Clips fairly square. Positive and negative peaks are clipping. Quite nice. Um, there's a triangle wave. So uh, this is a one kilohertz. Um, one kilohertz. A uh, triangle wave or one kilohertz sine wave. So that's the clipping. So uh, let's run through and see the frequency response. All right. So what I've done is um, I've set it up so I've got an output um, of six volts RMS, um, and I've set the two uh, cursors here to show the peak-to-peak uh, -peak. Um, and what I'm going to do is that's a one kilohertz tone I'm going to run through some frequencies from 20 Hertz up to 20 kilohertz and uh, see if the voltage or the output power stays the same um, so as you can see that same uh, these two, between these two points is uh, plus 16.8 volts and uh, the meter saying 6 volts RMS so we can come over and work that on the calculator um, 16.8 volts is the peak to peak divide that by 2 gives you the peak voltage of 8.4 and we want to divide that by the square root of 2 to give us the RMS voltage and there it is 5.93 so uh, there's our 1 kilohertz let's start with uh, let's start going down and see the uh, frequency response of the uh, death of Zen amp is of course with uh, this is with 2N3055s so maybe different if you use different transistors, but uh, seems to be quite good anyway. So that's the uh, one kilohertz tone. Uh, let's start going down. Um, let's try. Uh, let's try 400 hertz. That's 400 hertz, and looks pretty spot on. Um, no change at all, and the meter says still saying six volts RMS. Uh, is our 400 hertz? So that's fine, no problem. Uh, let's go down a bit more. Let's try 250 hertz. Yeah, still says six volt RMS. Uh, 100 hertz. Still says 
still looks pretty good. And we've got 5.98, just starting to drop off a tiny bit. But um, well, nothing really. Uh, let's try 20. Well, let's try. Let's try 50 hertz first. There's 50 hertz. Still look good. And we've got 5.95 volts. So let's go down to 20 hertz. Subsonic. Yep, still uh, still on them points there. And we're showing 5.79 volts. So, yeah, frequency response is good, right down to 20 hertz, uh, completely flat from 20 hertz to 1 kilohertz. So, uh, let's start going up. There's our 1 kilohertz again. And, uh, of course, we've got a 6 volts. So, let's start going up from there. Um, let's try 2.5 kilohertz. Yep, looks good. Still, still completely flat, and we've still got 6 volts. That's two and a half kilohertz. Let's try five K. Spot on, no problem. Five point nine eight volts. Uh, let's try ten K. Ten K. Um, still looks pretty spot on. Just no, I'd say let's spot on. Meter's saying five point nine one. So. 10k still flat. Let's try 16k. Yep, no problem. Still pretty flat. 5.82 volts. That's a uh, 16 kilohertz. So let's try 20k. There's 20k. Yeah, it just dropped off a tiny bit, but hardly anything. Um, no problem. Meter saying 5.69 volts. So yeah, 5.7 volts. And this is all at one amp idle current. There's my two uh, 0.22 volt across the 0.22 ohm resistor. So yeah, that's uh, pretty flat from 20 hertz right the way up to 20 kilohertz. So uh, that's um, working well for a, for a homemade amp. And of course, as I said, that's with the 2N3055H. So very pleased with that. That's the death of Zen. Very happy with the sound of the amplifier as well. Not sure how to sound on the phone, but we'll try. Heaven from hell, blue skies from pain. Can you tell a green field from a cold steel rail? A smile from a veil. Do you think you can tell? And did they hurt you? So that's the Def of Zen, very happy with it, sounds very nice. I encourage you to build one if you're after building a Class A audio amp.